चलो Well, Instagram has become part of my life, but on the side. I'm not a real user of what the net proposes, to have friends all over the world, etc. I, I use it, as I say, as a débutant. Je laisse volontiers tomber les épis de blé pour prendre la caméra. Ces nouvelles petites caméras, elles sont numériques, fantastiques, elles permettent des effets stroboscopiques, des effets narcissiques, et même hyper réalistiques. You know, when I did in the 60s, in the 50s, uh, you had to be a photographer in a way. And when the camera, photo camera became cheaper and more easy to deal, Everybody became photographer, and now with the, what we have, all the, the way we can make photos on the telephone, everybody is a filmmaker and a photographer. So everybody can do an Instagram and post images and, and little stories, so it's fine. And who knows what is supposed to be from an artist? Who knows about art? It has become so confusing and beautifully confusing that now art is everywhere. The borders have been erased. Sometimes I allow myself to just say, this is bad, I don't like it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the next person would say, well, this is art. So the, now the world of art, the world of photography, and the net has been changing all the rules, all the way of discussing, all the way of judging. It's good in a way. It's democratic, you know. Un mélange de Palavas des Flots et de Saint-Germain-des-Prés qui attire les plagistes, les artistes, les touristes, les dragueurs, les drogueurs et les photographeurs. Venise, c'est calme, c'est la semaine. Faut venir le dimanche. Tout le monde vient pour draguer les filles, pour se baigner, pour faire du patin, pour voir les muraux, il y en a derrière, il y a ce mural là. In my work, I've been a photographer, a filmmaker, and I'm a visual artist. But what I'm trying is, again, erase the borders. In some installation, I mix still images and video, or color and black and white, or a still image and the same moving. Uh, you see, our perception has to be tickled all the time. We cannot decide this is good, this is bad, this is old photos, this is new. So I'm trying. Since I'm old, I have been using all these tools, creating films, art, or whatever, and even Instagram or something on the net, is being free, is trying to find a way to communicate, communicate freedom, communicate the joy or the pain or the concern we have about what's happening in the world. The unhappiness, the chaos is everywhere. And we still have to live and make joy and and, and do little stories on Instagram. I mean, we are, you know, in a world which is chaotic and, and uh, contradictory, because we need to be in good mood, we need to be happy in a way, we need to have a nice day and exchange images. But the images are attacking us. You open the TV, you get incredible bad news. So this is also a world of images. In the street, in the magazine, you, all the white pages, you have a face of a beautiful woman, woman selling cosmetics or a dress or to show what is a family and they eat that special cheese. You know, we are attacked by images. So it's a good answer to propose your own images on the net, your own world. So I'm always in a contradictory feeling because I feel good mostly all the time. I feel that I'm lucky not to be dead yet. And I know people, I meet people, I love what I do. So you speak about the net, it's perfect. You, you exchange your idea, but, but it's just a part of the life. And you just go out and speak to your neighbor. Maybe it's an act as important than one image on the net. Minute pour papillon. 
Être laide, c'est ça la mort. Mais tu ne seras pas toujours toute seule dans le miroir. Il y aura la caméra, qui est un petit peu moi. Et tant pis si j'apparais parfois dans le miroir ou dans le champ. Ouais, c'est ça mon idée. Mon idée du portrait. Que je sois dans des miroirs foutus et, des... et derrière des foulards. The mirror, which is the tool of the painter who wants to do the self-portrait. He puts the mirror and he paints, right? And as I said at the beginning of the film, which is my life, I had to bring mirror because of that idea that I would be filming myself. But I turned the mirror and I started to show in the mirror all the people working with me on that film and the ocean and images so that it would be confusing about what is the real images and what is the mirror. So by making the confusing, the confusion, I thought I was not trying to be selfish, but trying to say, by speaking about myself, it's a way of speaking about other people, those who loved me, those that I loved, people I met, all the people I've been filming around the world, in China, in Cuba, the Black Panthers, my neighbors, you know. And a life is made of encounters, expression. Sometimes I succeed to make a film that showing what I wanted to show or what I meant. You know, I don't have a plan of career, I never had. Sometimes I stopped some years because I didn't find the money and also I didn't find something pushing me to do it right away. So you have to, I had to accept that I want to be always coherent, is that the word? I wanted to be coherent with what I feel about what I should do, never do. I did in the advertising, a lot of directors do it. I don't want to sell cosmetic or uh, cream, you know, or uh, uh, food for good dogs. So I did just my work as a filmmaker, as a photographer, as an artist, related to what I believe. You know, yesterday, you know, and today, there are 450 people coming to see one of my films. I'm totally delighted. René, Chabrol, Rivette, Demi. My dear Jacques. Et toi, Lavarda? I was living with Jacques Demi together in the same house, same table, same bed. But we didn't discuss so much our work because he had his world, I had mine. And this is something you cannot totally share. You can speak about it. And we never worked together. At the time of the so-called new wave. We, we were met, meeting Jacques Demi and me, we were meeting Jean-Luc Godard and Anna Karina, and sometimes Rivette, and that was all, as friends. And then all the other people, they were doing their thing, we were doing our thing. And I never signed anything in any group, in any party. So did Jacques Demi, we, were, we felt like independent. And I know that Jacques Demi loved my film, loved Vagabond a lot but hated Le Bonheur happiness. He found it not moral at all. So, you know, you, you can love somebody and not oblige to, to marry all the films and all the opinions. Everybody has a world that they want, which is important. And then sometimes we don't understand enough, we don't listen enough. As a documentarist, I'm a good listener, you know. I really wait that people say things they want to say. But sometimes I miss, sometimes, you know, we are not, good in everything. I feel I do my best and sometimes I'm not very good. Tu ne regrettes plus maintenant d'être venu? Je ne savais pas. Pourtant je t'avais souvent tout raconté. Tu m'écoutais comme si je te racontais des histoires et pas mon histoire. C'était notre amour que tu aimais, ce n'était pas moi. C'est toi que je vais aimer. Il parle trop pour être heureux. Yeah, it can be said they talk too much to be happy, but we know also that conversation and understanding with words can make you happy. So, you know, one word in a film, in one scene, cannot be taken as a Bible line, you know. It's, it is true at that moment when, when these people see them speaking, but maybe it's not true. What you say in a film, what you have people express, is one instant. Maybe in 10 minutes we will say together different things. So we, when they quote me, they say, yes, 
some say, you said that. I say, well, maybe I said that that day because something, you know, we cannot be quoted as, as we are the truth, the true world. I make mistakes all the time. I confuse things sometimes. And then I say, oh, I, I made a gap. Okay. I'm trying to be open. I'm trying to be listening. I'm trying to remain curious, which is good enough to occupy my life. Au revoir. Cette fois-ci, pour parler de moi, j'ai pensé, si on ouvrait les gens, on trouverait des paysages. Moi, si on m'ouvrait, on trouverait des plages.